if you are okay with your animations, for example, this one here, I don't have really something to say with this because I um, I think I would have done the same, maybe maybe worst, <laughs> who knows? Uh, so I don't have something to tell. Uh, and it's okay from because you you got the point, Iris. So this is very good. Um, the others uh, that made some mistakes, I tell the mistakes uh, because so you know what you can improve the next time. You know, and this is very important to uh, make mistakes. Otherwise, you don't know how to grow. For example, this one here. Uh, it's difficult for me to uh, find something. Maybe, maybe this one here. I, I I could say something like this. Something that I said to Federica as well. Uh, repetitive movements um, are kind of boring. Okay. Try to uh, if you are about to repeat a movement. For example, this one uh, spends like five or six frames to. Uh, reach this position here and then it does the same for this position here and it's kind of it's almost like it's mirrored I, I know it, it, it it's not mirrored but uh, we perceive it as it's mirrored so uh, in our brain uh, something says okay this is a boring movement because I already saw that OK, so whenever you are about to make um, repetitive movements, try to find a different angle, try to change the position a little bit, just not to have it uh, like mirrored. Or in this case, for example, um, the flower sack nods twice the same way, like one and two. Um, this one here, I already said that here. Uh, it's another boring action. Try always to make it um, like um, slower or maybe change the perspective just a little bit, just to not have uh, this response on our brains like, OK, I already saw that action. Even if it's like five frames or six, we perceive the animation as something that's uh, not very well made, you know. <laughs>